By the age of 24, I had become a multimillionaire. And at this time, I worked my ass off in real estate. That's when I realized what passion really was. But times were different back then. So let me give you 10 tips on how to become a millionaire in your 20s now. My name is Munif Ali. I'm a self-made multimillionaire, and I've built multiple brick and mortar companies with billions of dollars in sales. I started to make these videos to share my life experiences so that I could teach others how to become more successful in life and in business. If you like the type of content that I'm giving you, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, like the video, and share it with people who might find this video useful. If you're still comfortable with putting money in your savings and you have a few extra dollars for steak and expensive coffee, then maybe you're you're not saving enough. Here's the thing, you don't have to agree with me because you might think, oh, this you know, older rich guy is telling me what to do with my money and blah, blah, blah. But look, kid, if you want to become a millionaire, there are ways to do it. If you really want to become a millionaire, you have to have a frugal mindset. You can start living with roommates, no matter how annoying it can be. That will significantly save you money, right? You might not want to do it, but just think about all the things that you can do throughout the year to save as much money as possible. I'm not saying this shit is gonna be easy. I'm not saying that it's going to be a wonderful experience because you really have to get control of your mindset and your spending. And instead of using the extra money for extra leisure, you're gonna add it to investments. While I know there's a certain amount of these channels that go around and say, you know, buy all the expensive shit, buy my program, buy my, you know, event, and spend 5,000 here and just live the life. But just from experience, I'm telling you, that's not the right way to go. There's a lot of people who want you to save money, and I get that, but there's a whole lot of other people that want you to spend your money. I'm from the savings crew, just so we don't get it twisted. You have to explore savings plans so that you can start to accumulate money, and then use that money to max out your 401k if you can get one. Keep pressuring yourself to find ways to save money and earn more money. It's gonna be a bit of a sacrifice sometimes, Times and a lot of people don't want to hear that stuff, but that's what it may be in order to become a millennial millionaire or even younger. I was brown bagging lunch every single day while working and had a hoopty as a car, you know, dating that didn't stop me from meeting people, that didn't stop me from doing or enjoying life. It's just a little bit of sacrifice here and there. While I had a lot of friends that spent a lot of money showing and showcasing and that were making a lot more money than me as well, but right now they're still working extremely hard just to survive. And so I'm telling you this ahead of time as a punch in your gut right now. I always say this, if you have to choose between a talented and a a hard-working employee. I'll pick the hard-working employee every time. Sure, you can be the most talented person in your craft, but if no one wants to work with you, it's pointless. But if you're a person who works extra hard and is willing to learn, then you'll find more people that can grant you better opportunity. So keep working hard until you get to your desired place. Remind yourself that you're still young, and that means you have more energy than others. Pay your dues now so you can enjoy the profits later. The harder you work in the earlier part of your life, the better, more stable life you have later on. So try not to waste these young, youthful years right now. And if you wanna get rich fast in your 20s, consider taking both aggressive and conservative financial strategies. While you're young, you have a higher tolerance for financial risk. This means you have to perfect the opportunity to diversify your portfolio and take some riskier investments without taking too much of a loss. Sure, it's always a nice idea to invest in the S&P 500 index since it's safer and you'll have a slow but steady rate of return. With the help of technology and the information that you can gather nowadays, it's easier to research unconventional investments as well. Try exploring crypto or NFTs or different stocks with a higher potential, but all these 
are only valid if you do the research and really understand the product. It's going to be a big risk, but it also may be a deal of a lifetime that you've been waiting for. In today's economy where inflation continues to rise, it is hard for everyone to find a home, especially one that's suited for them. That's also a reason why you need to try to make real estate one of your best friends to fight inflation. Everyone needs a home or a property. That means there will always be a demand for property and home homes and houses and condos and apartments. So if you find a place that you like, try to acquire it as soon as possible. Once you own the place, not only do you have your own place, but you have the power of leveraging one of the most reliable assets to generate steady income in the future. One way to ensure that you're earning more money is to stay frugal. You have to live like a poor man in order to become a millionaire later. Don't live life just to show off your luxury expenses, your expensive shoes and purses and clothes, especially if you've used plastic to buy them, don't be a moron when it comes to this. Don't get sucked up in the fear of missing out. Start living well below your means. I said well below your means. I love it when friends tell me you're so lucky to be in real estate, but I sacrifice so much. So when you start to live below your means, now you can add that extra money that you've saved up to actually secure your future. Try getting a cheap car, a cheaper car, a hoopty, a bucket, or whatever you want to call it. Buy things secondhand. Avoid buying new clothes all the time. Think of the littlest things that you can do to save money. And then start to practice them. It's okay. The more people that call you cheap, you can laugh all the way to the bank. When you're young and you want to hang out with your friends, I had no shame. I could care less if I wasn't popular. I would go to a restaurant. I'd be completely fine with ordering water. Do whatever you need to do to have that million dollar mindset and those goals accomplished. I'm not saying ever do anything illegal, immoral, or illegal, and not with integrity. What I'm saying is try the best you can not to get sucked up with what everybody else is doing. A lot of people celebrate every single holiday. You know, you got people celebrating other cultures, holidays, just to get a kick out of life. That's great. Look, uh, I'm not really wearing green because I'm not Irish, if you haven't looked at it already. I'm not celebrating Cinco de Mayo, not because it's not cool and festive, but I'm not from Mexico. So guess what? I might get some hate for it. It's perfectly fine, but I'm going to keep my money for building a legacy. No, I know people who celebrated Memorial Day and don't even really understand what it's for. If you need a reason to celebrate, hold off, have some deferred celebration. Maybe you can go somewhere around the world where they do celebrate all these holidays, but you've saved that particular amount of money so that you can actually travel to that land and celebrate as the people there do, right? Don't get sucked up in what's popular is what I'm saying. And today, with the help of technology, it's even easier to find a side job or a side hustle. And you can start to sell your craft on Instagram or Facebook or TikTok. It could be food, it could be artwork, it could be counseling, it could be coaching, who knows? Your side business might become big one day and in turn, might become your main job later on, especially if you enjoy it. So what are you waiting for? You should start your side hustle right now, especially if you have trouble making more money. Working hard isn't enough sometimes, and you have to build a strong support network as well. There are plenty of people in the world who work very, very hard, but don't make a lot of money. So expand your network, and you'll be able to find future business partners and future mentors who can guide you along the way and be there for you. When you have a whole lot of help around you, you will surely accelerate your career's advancements much faster than your current colleagues will. You'll be able to start your business sooner. You'll be able to accomplish a lot more being around the right people. To find the sort of people that are gonna help you, Start by offering coffee to someone who's doing better than you or has the same mentality, if not better, or has bigger goals and dreams. Or you can try an online forum that caters to your specific interests. You might find valuable information online and connect to groups out there. One of the greatest assets a person can have is their brain. Even when you're done with your studies, you should continue to expand your knowledge 
with the career that you have chosen by being more knowledgeable than the rest of the competition. You'll have more people coming closer to you and you'll become more reliable. So really put your time and effort in your craft. I know it's not popular because nobody wants to put time and effort, but that's what you got to do. If you like this type of content, go ahead and apply a liberal pressure on that like and subscribe button. Let me and the algorithm know that this video was valuable to you. I'll continue to bring you videos like this each and every week and make sure you turn on that notification notification bell as well so that when we release a video you're the first ones to get notified. Always keep track of your monetary progress, where you are with your money. You might be surprised how easy it is to lose money when you're not aware of where it goes. And thankfully, there are apps out there to help you monitor your income and your expenses. And when you're on top of your finances, you'll be able to figure out the next stage to take to help you reach your million dollar goal. When you're aware, you're optimizing your wealth at its fullest. Nowadays, there are plenty of ways to become rich thanks to technology. If I were your age today, I would have taken advantage of the resources that you have right now, like what I did when I was in my 20s. So continue to adapt and sharpen your skills to become a millennial millionaire. If you like this video, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button. Comment down below if you have additional tips and questions. I'd love to hear from you.